The next type of field we'll add is a hidden field. Hidden fields allow forms to pass a name and define value that no one sees when the form is submitted. Hidden fields are often used to insert information about a specific form. For example, you may want to put information about an event registration into your form that no one sees so you can identify where it came from. A hidden field is nothing more than a text field that's hidden. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the text field tool and down here I will sneak in a hidden field. Now like all fields, the field needs a name and I'll type in event name for my field name. This will identify my field when it submits to a database. Then for the default value for my field, I will type in annual meeting 2007. And back over here on the general tab to make this field hidden, I will change this from visible to hidden. And I'll close it. Now you can see it while you're editing the field, you can see we put a default value of annual meeting and the field name is called event name. But when I click on the hand tool that shows what the form will look like when somebody uses it, you'll see that that form is nowhere to be found, nor can it be edited. If I click back on the arrow tool, you can see that field show back up. Hidden fields are used to give directives when people use the formrouter.net service. It helps give instructions to the forms. So for form router, hidden fields have a great deal of value.